Welcome to Yoga Stretch. My name is Katie. Today I'm going to talk about busting high blood pressure. Now there's a chance that you're going to know somebody who has high blood pressure or hypertension as the doctors call it and they take one or two pills a day in order to control it. Now the problem with high blood pressure is that it can cause heart failure and stroke and other unpleasant conditions. Now the blood pressure does vary during the day. It increases with activity and stress and it decreases with rest. Now there are some conditions that actually cause high blood pressure such as kidney disease, type 2 diabetes and some hormonal problems. But most of the high, pressure is, high blood pressure is caused by a high stress lifestyle. So in order to counteract this high stress lifestyle, today we're going to focus on mindfulness in yoga. And that will assist in lowering stress and the high blood pressure by focusing the mind on the body and the movements we make and giving the mind a complete rest for the time we do our yoga. And the other thing you can do in yoga is focus on your breathing, particularly in a state of rest, when you're lying down and not forcing your breath in and out, but noticing the natural rhythm of your breath as you breathe. So let's try some yoga today to bust high blood pressure. Now join me as we lay down on the mat. Now just relax your body and you want to make sure your shoulder blades are on the floor. So let's slide the shoulder blades downwards and inwards so you can press with the elbows a little bit into the back to lift the mid back up. Slide shoulder blades downwards inwards so they're nice and flat. The chest is open, shoulders are wide. Drop your chin to chest, a little nod towards your chest is good. Place your hands on your belly and let your feet drop outwards. Now you might want to give them a little shake. If you're a little bit tense, you might want to just a little shake into the legs and then drop them outwards and that should relax your inner thighs and around your hips. So the most important thing if you're going to bust high blood pressure or hypertension is to try and relax your body. So particularly in this position, this is very important that you just take the moment to breathe, focus on your breathing and try to let your muscles relax. So if you find any tension in your neck or shoulders, just breathe in and as you breathe out, just let it go. Try to relax your muscles down with your out breath. That's it, lovely, let's breathe in. So you want to breathe quite slowly. You don't want to get into the quick breathing because that will just make you more tense. So if you do the nice slow breathing with a counted breath in and out, so count to three as you breathe in and count to three as you breathe out and that's your counted breath and that will help you slow down a little bit and calm your body. So very important to calm the body. And give yourself permission for this hour for yoga, just where you can spend a little bit of time investing in yourself instead of investing in everybody else. Coming your arms to your sides, going to breathe in, bring the arms over the head, point the toes away, take a big stretch, reach fingers and toes away, lengthen through the body, wriggle your fingers and toes and then breathe out, bring your toes forward and your hands by your sides. So let's do that again, breathe in, nice big stretch, stretch your fingers out, stretch your toes out, breathe out, hands to sides. Let's do that again. This is a beautiful stretch. This should help you Lengthen out your body and release all those muscles that may have tightened up with your tenseness. Give them a good stretch out. They're going to really enjoy that. And let's do it one more time. That's it, lovely. 
the shoulders should feel a little bit more released now and then walk your feet to the end position and we're going to bring the knees to the chest one at a time and just link your fingers palms on your knees just press your knees down to your chest and your hips will lift a little off the mat and then that will help you lengthen your lower spine and place it down so let's just rock from side to side just a few times Then hold your right knee to chest and extend your left leg. That's it, lovely. So keep that knee to the chest and let's rotate the ankle. The ankles need a little bit of attention. We have to work quite hard to keep us on our feet all day. And let's rotate back the other way. So it's a really good idea to look after them. Now let's tuck the toes behind the opposite leg, the knee of the opposite leg, and take the opposite hand on the knee, bring it across the body and then bring your opposite hand out to the side. So if you've got your right knee across your body, your right hand is out to the side and you're looking to the right. Breathe into your chest. Now I want you to continue with those nice counted breaths. That's going to really help you to release tension out of your body and relax a little bit more so your blood pressure can go down. So one two, three breathing in. You should feel a nice stretch around the chest and around the hip. Breathe out, two and three. Let's do that again. And then release. And now we're going to bring that knee to the chest. And you can slide the other leg into the end position because we're going to do half a heavy baby. So lifting your leg up, hand behind the knee, or you can slide the hand to your ankle, or the instep or outer edge of the foot. Whatever's most comfortable for you. We're going to bring the knee a little wider than the hip and draw it downwards. Drop the opposite leg out to the side. So if you're working in your right leg, your left knee drops outwards. And bring your left hand out to the side. And that will help as a counterbalance for the weight of the leg that you're stretching in the happy baby pose. Now let's take those three breaths here. Remember to count them just quietly in your mind is fine. But make sure you're breathing in evenly and breathing out evenly. Don't let your mind stray. Counting really helps to focus the mind. Beautiful. Let's lower that foot down and we're going to bring the other knee to chest. Let's give it a nice hug and extend the opposite leg along the mat. Rotate your ankle just five times one way and then you want to go five times the other. So keeping it nice and even. So each time you circle, you're circling the same amount of times as the other direction. Okay, let's tuck those toes of the left foot behind the right knee. I bring the knee across the body. Now the left hand goes out to the side and look left. So we've got that nice stretch in the chest on the left side and around the hip. So let's take a few breaths here. Remember to count that breath in and out. One more time. Okay, lovely. Now, bringing that knee up to the ceiling, we've got the half happy baby. So if you bent your knee last time, your extended leg into a bent knee, do that again this time. Take your left hand behind the knee, or you can slide it to your ankle, the instep or the outer edge of the foot. So knee out to the side and draw it downwards. Drop your right knee out to the side and bring your right hand out to the side. So you're nice and even, your hips are evenly on the floor, your shoulders are even. So try and keep your body as even as you can. Let's take those lovely three big breaths. Okay, 
Okay, release that leg down. That's it, perfect. All right, now we're going to uh, bring both knees to the chest again, and let's cross the ankles. Hold your big toe with your index and middle finger, or hold the outer edge of your feet. We're going to do some spinal rolls. Now, if you don't wish to do that, just come to a seated position and we'll join you shortly. Okay, so let's draw the navel down. Lift the head up, chin to chest, shoulders drop, so you're nice and strong around the front of the body, and then bring the legs over the head, just let the shoulders touch the floor, and then roll forward. So we go with the head touching the floor. Now the secret to that is keep your chin to your chest. If you move your head, you're going to throw your head back and look up at the ceiling, which will mean that you're going to go onto the back of your head. So try to keep your chin to chest. Let's change the cross of the legs. Rolling back, this is a lovely spinal roll. This helps to straighten out our spine, if your spine can manage. If you have any conditions with your spine, you may not want to do this. Okay, this time, we're gonna roll forward onto our knees. Now, I'm going to turn and face you, so you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to come into, first of all, a child's pose with my knees together. Let's extend the arms forward, chin to chest, forehead down. Let's breathe into the back, the lower spine to the neck. Big breath. Take big breaths in and remember to count to three as you breathe in and count to three as you breathe out. Now come up onto your fingertips and thumbs and walk them closer together so your thumbs touch, flatten your palms. Now we want to rotate the palms upwards to the ceiling and the thumbs outwards. So you're going to feel a nice rotation in your arms. So your shoulder blades should feel flat, your thumbs are out to the side and your arms are working quite strongly in this position. So let's take three breaths here. Now, roll your palms back to the floor, walk your hands back to your knees, and we've got a frog. So let's bring the knees out to the side, and this is gonna stretch your inner thighs. So the wider your knees, the bigger the stretch on the inner thighs. Now, this is our modified frog. So let's extend the arms forward. Now, you might want to try to get your chest to go to the floor. So that will give your chest a big stretch. Bring your forehead down, but still drop your chest a little bit closer to the floor. Now, if you find you're stretching a little bit too much into the hips, just come up and bring your knees a little bit closer together. And in that way, you can modify your stretch and make it a bit gentler. So what you don't want to be doing is straining. So that's a contributor to higher blood pressure when you put yourself under stress. So you don't want to be doing that today. You want to find a position where you can feel the stretch, but you're not feeling stressed when you do it. Let's breathe into the back. Now let's take a walk with our hands over to one side. Now you can take, if you walk over to the right side, then you can take your right hand, slide it back so the hag is just outside the knee. And in that way you can get a little bit of a bigger stretch. So you can creep your fingers over to the right and feel that big stretch in the left side from the hip right through the side of the body. Let's breathe into that side. Now extend your other arm, walk your hands around to the other side and let's do the same thing. So this time we're going to slide our left hand next to our left knee, place the head down and you can creep your fingers a little bit further to the left. Breathe into the right side of the body, so the right arm is reaching across and we're breathing into that very big stretch around the hip and the ribs and just at the side of the arm, below the arm.
Okay, so let's walk those hands around to the front again and we're going to walk the hands nice and close to us. Okay, we can bring those knees a little bit in. I'll turn sideways again because we're going to, to a down dog. So let's um, tuck the toes under, lift the hips up, down dog. Walk the heels up and down. I get the ankles and the calves a really big stretch as you bring your heels towards the floor. Now, if you can't reach the floor, it's okay. You just want to get that stretch around the ankles and the calves. Lower your heels towards the floor and you want to make sure the shoulders are not around your ears. So slide them downwards. And your shoulder blades need to be able to slide. You might want to try that a few times. This is a wonderful way to bust that high blood pressure. It helps reduce stress beautifully. So let's try that. So we're going to slide shoulders towards the hips. And now slide them towards the ears. Slide towards the hips. Slide up to ears. Let's slide them away again. Beautiful, and come into plank. Slide shoulders to hips. We want them right away from the ears. If you want to go to your knees, feel free to do that. Now let's tighten the tummy. Little squeeze in the bottom part of the buttocks. So now the front of your body is working quite strongly and we're not overusing knees. Okay, let's take three big breaths here. Remember to count your breath. Now, lower your knees to the floor, just one at a time is fine. And then come into child's pose. You can have knees together again, otherwise a little bit apart for comfort. Bring your arms to your sides. And let's rest the head down. Let the shoulders become nice and wide. You can hold your heels with your palms also and let the shoulders drop down. So you get a little bit more of a stretch in your back. And now extend your arms forward and let's lift up into a cat position. Just a neutral cat. So that means that your knees are directly under your hips. So have a look. Your wrists are directly under your shoulders. So let's slide the shoulders towards the hips. So right down, we want nice movable shoulder blades. And we're going to do alternate arm leg raises. So let's slide our right arm and left leg away. Breathing in. And breathe out. Keep the tummy firm. So you need to have your navel lifted to support the lower back. So you want to make sure you're really reaching through your arm and leg. Don't need to lift your back leg up high. Just extend to opposite ends of the room and lower it down. That's it, beautiful. Now let's do that one more time each side. So focus on your stretch rather than speed. So you want to breathe in, reach, and then breathe out, lower your hand and knee down. Now we're going to go 45 degrees. Okay, so right arm, left leg, extend. Now bring your arm and leg to 45 degrees. Do have a look at your arm because I see arms swinging all over the place. And remember, we wanted that diagonal to match the leg. And then forward and back, hand and knee down. Let's try that again. Other side, extend the left arm, right leg, and diagonal. Remember, the arm's not moving around to the side. It's just at a diagonal. Have a look at your hand, make sure it's there. And then forward and back, hand and knee down. Good, let's keep going. Breathe in, forward, breathe out, diagonal. Breathe in, forward and back, breathe out, hand and knee down. Breathe in, extend opposite arm and leg, breathe out, diagonal. Breathe in, forward and back, breathe out, hand and knee down. Let's continue, but stay very mindful of drawing your navel up 
and making sure that your arm stays in line with your leg. So try not to have the arms and legs out of alignment. And let's do one more time each side. Finishing off your last one, hand and knee down. Now just for a challenge today, we're going to extend our right arm, right leg. A little bit more challenging. So you might want to move the knees just a little bit closer together and slide your right arm and right leg away. Lift it up and lower it down, slide it back. Change sides, breathe in, breathe out, coming down. This is quite a balanced challenge. And then breathe in, extend the arm and leg. Breathe out to lower, lovely. Let's keep going. One more time each side. And last one. So your wrist might want a little rest now. So let's sit on our heels, elbows to floor, lift your hands, and let's rotate the wrists. Back around the other way. Okay, lifting up. Now we're going to um, sit on our heels and I'll turn and face you for the moment. And link my fingers. Okay, so we're going to lead with the right hand and draw a figure of an eight. So you can go a little bit quicker once you've got the right arm leading in the movement. I just need to concentrate. Okay, now the left arm is going to lead. Try and get your left arm to do it. So if you're a right-handed person, you're going to have to concentrate a bit more with the left arm. If you're left-handed, this should be quite easy. Beautiful. One more. Lovely. All right, we've got a gate pose. <laughs> So let's bring our leg out to the side. So I'll just bring myself into the middle and then bring the leg out to the side. And we're going to lift our arms up, breathe in and breathe out, reach. Place your hand down, you can go on your fist. Now, for those people who have high blood pressure, you may prefer not to have your arm above your head. You may be happy with it extended here or rather I should say up to the ceiling. So you can have it extended over the head or just place it on your hip. Just pick something that works for you and that you know is not going to increase your heart rate too much and make you uncomfortable. So this is our level one gate pose. You can try the level two and pause here, just making sure you've got a firm tummy, your arms extended but your shoulder blade is still drawn towards your hip and you're nice and firm around the hip about the top side of the hip and the buttocks. Let's take our three breaths. Now if you can, bend the top knee. This is a lovely balance. Take your top hand, hold the top of the foot and press the foot into the hand to create the bow. Three breaths. You want to keep that breath even and slow. Keep the body lovely and calm. Okay, let's release. Bring the foot down and lift up. Now let's place the hands behind the back. So we're turning them into this. Place them behind the back above the lower spine. Draw your elbows behind. Squeeze the buttocks. Push your hips forward. Now, you might prefer to just drop your chin to chest, but you decide. You can even gaze upwards or lower the head back. Do make sure that your neck is quite comfortable doing that. But for your high blood pressure, you may prefer just to drop your chin to chest. High blood pressure or hypertension. It's known by both names. Breathe into the belly, expand it out. Okay, so we're going to sit on our heels and just bring the hands by our sides. Coming to a nice rest pose. 
Breathe into the back. All right, let's lift up again. We're going to lift up onto our knees. Take the other leg out to the side. Now, remember to squeeze the bottom of your buttocks, tighten your tummy so you're straightening up the hips and place your, oh, let's bring our arms to the sides first. Breathe in, reach and breathe out. Arm to ceiling if it's comfortable, otherwise extended. And level two, lifting your back foot up. So make sure you're getting a nice squeeze around the top of the hip and around the buttocks and a lovely firm waist. Let's take our three breaths here. Are you still counting your breath? Now for the balance, we're gonna bend the knee and take the top hand, hold the top of the foot, push the foot in the hand, creating a bow. And let's take those three breaths again. into a cat pose facing sideways. I'm going to do cat cow pose. So let's breathe in, cat arch, big stretch. Breathe out, cow pose, tuck toes under, slide shoulders towards hips. Let's breathe in, cat arch. And breathe out, cow pose. So now you want to get that nice big stretch in the back. So arch up like a cat and then tuck the toes under, looking forward in your cow pose. We've got two more to go. This is your last one. Okay, let's flatten the feet. Now I'm going to face you again this time, just to do our camel one more time. So let's tuck the toes under and have the heels a little bit higher. Make sure you're squeezing your buttocks and pushing your hips forward. Then take your hands behind your back into this. Draw the elbows behind and let your shoulder blades slide down your back. Squeeze your buttocks, lengthen through the spine as you lean back. By this time we're going to take our right arm, breathe in, circle it up and over and place it on our ankle. Pick your head position. Do try not to be leaning to the side. Try to keep yourself up nice and even. Shoulders as even as you can. Breathe into your belly. Just nice three breaths. And then we're going to take our hand into a fist, place it behind the back. Take the left hand, circle it up and over onto the ankle. Breathe into your belly. Pick your head position. Now we're going to release. This time we're going to flatten our feet what I'd like you to do is bring your knees just a bit wider and take your hands between your legs, hold your ankles. So you're holding the inside of your ankles and that means that you're going to pull your navel up, round your back out, so you've got a really big stretch going on. It's a big stretch in the back. So I hope you can see that. So my hands are threaded between my legs, holding the inside of my heels. All right, well, look, beautiful. So we're going to just turn sideways again so you can actually see what's happening. Now, I'm going to take my right hand out to the side. We've got a big stretch. So here's a twist to start off with. Breathe in, breathe out. Thread your arm under the other temple down. So that's the side of your head and then Extend your left leg, have your toes on the floor, lift your knee, but, but um, extend the leg. So you've got a nice straight leg, and you're gonna take the elbow, the right elbow, press it in the right knee, so that gives you support. And take your hands into prayer at chest. So you wanna make sure your head's nice and comfy, your neck is comfortable, and let's balance. We want those three big breaths again.
Okay, lovely. Let's place the hand down and the knee down and lift up. So it can be a little bit challenging. Um, so come onto your knees. Now, the nice thing about that is you have to concentrate so it keeps your mind very focused. Now we're going to sit on our heels. If this is too uncomfortable for you, I want you to lift your hips up like you're in the camel pose again and do the same thing in this position. Otherwise, I'm going to sit on my heels because it's quite comfortable and I'll stretch the tops of my feet. So let's bring the arms out nice and wide. We've got eagle arms. So I want you to lift your chest up, slide your shoulder blades down so you're nice and open in the front of your body. Okay, so remember arms a little lower than shoulders. So if you lift your arms up, you're going to feel the inside of your the, the inside of your neck working into the inside of the shoulder. So I want you to release that by lowering it down. And that's a wonderful way to bust that high blood pressure as well. So it takes the stress out of the neck. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Bring your arms forward. I want you to take the right arm under the left. Elbows lock in, hands on shoulders, level one, level two, backs of hands together, and level three, palms together. And we're going to lift those elbows up. So let's breathe in. Lift that, feel a stretch around the back and the shoulder blades. Breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. And breathe out to lower. Breathe in to lift. And out to lower. That's it, lovely. Let's unwrap those arms. Now we're going to go around to this side and back onto into our cat position. This time taking our left hand, breathe in. Let's rotate the spine, breathe out. Hand under shoulder, temple down. And you're going to extend your right leg, toes up on the floor, pushing through the heel. Nice firm tummy. Take the left elbow. Push it inside the left knee and bring your hands to chest. So you should be nice and stable on your elbow pushing into the knee and the other foot. So if your, your muscles wobble and so on, it's okay. And it's all right if you roll. Just have a little laugh at yourself. It's okay to do that. As we try things out, we're going to have a few little falls, as long as they're only very small ones, that you can manage. And uh, it's okay to do that. Just feel that you're making progress by actually trying. Let's take those three breaths. Remember, we want to count the breath and keep ourselves nice and calm and mindful. Being mindful is important for busting high blood pressure or hypertension, so we need to keep really focused on what we're doing. Okay, place your hand down, your knee down, lift up, and I'll face you again, sitting on heels, or you can come into camel. Bring your arms out wide, remember, lift the chest up, shoulder blades drop. So we've got a lovely open chest and the shoulders are a little lower, or the arms are a little lower than shoulders. Breathe in, breathe out, arms forward. Take your left arm under your right, hands on shoulders, level one. Hands, backs of hands together or palms together. Now if you have your hands on your shoulders, just lift your elbows up again. But if you have your hands wrapped around similar to me, we're going to bring the hands forward. Let's breathe in and breathe out, extend forward. Breathe in, release, bring the hands up to the ceiling and breathe out, extend them forward. So we're stretching into our arms a little bit differently to last time, which was more around our shoulder blades. Let's do that again, reaching out, nice work, and then release. Let's unwrap those arms now. I'm going to turn sideways and let's go into a down dog. Uh, pausing in the down dog, take three big breath, breaths around the ribs. Walk your hands to your feet and hold your elbows. Tuck your tummy in, bring it under your rib cage, and let's move our elbows from side to side, chin to chest, and let's feel a stretch in each side of our back as we move our elbows from side to side. Now let's place the hands on the floor again, walk them forward into down dog. That's it, find the down dog position and then walk your feet towards your hands. Let your upper body hang down nice and loosely and let's move our head forward and backward in a yes movement. And then side to side in a no movement. 
Breathe in, hands on shins, scoop the belly in, slide the hands up the legs. Roll the shoulders back and down. Let's pause here in mountain pose. Just bring your arms a little bit away from the sides of the body. Now let's toe heel our feet just a little bit closer so the bones are not touching and stretch your toes out then draw the crown of the head up to the ceiling so you're nice and tall. Lift your chest up and let the shoulder blades just sink down a little but keep your rib cage flat, your tummy firm. Okay, let's lift the kneecaps up, tighten up through the thighs and the bottom of the buttocks. Chin is parallel to the floor and the arms are a little bit away from the sides of the body. You might like to stretch your fingers out, stretch your palms out. Let's take three big breaths around the rib cage and the sides of the body. Let's breathe in, sun salute. Big breath, squeeze your buttocks, push your hips forward and then breathe out, forward fold. Chest to thighs, chin to chest if you can, otherwise gaze at the floor if it's too uncomfortable. Then lift up into flat back, hands on shins or on toes or the floor, draw the navel up, lift the hips a bit higher and move the body weight into the front half of the feet. Then forward fold, chest to thighs. Chair pose, sweep your arms up, now, with the arms elevated or higher than the head and the shoulders, this is going to put a little bit of stress on the heart. So those people who have uh, high blood pressure might like to have their hands to the chest in prayer, perhaps even on hips, just wherever it's comfortable. Okay, and forward fold. Let's step our right foot back, knee down, flatten the toes. Walk your hands to your knee and let's move the hips forward. Sweep the arms up and again picking a different arm position if this one's a little bit too strong for you. Breathe into the belly, keep your shoulders down and lift your chest. Now we're going to rotate our left hand out to the side, float it down and lean to the left. You can take your left elbow on your knee if that's more comfortable for you. Otherwise, just let your fingers head down towards the floor. You can gaze upwards, but if you have high blood pressure, just look downwards. Breathe into the side of the body. Up. Let's place the hands on the floor, tuck the back toes under, front foot back into a plank. Let's pause here for a few breaths, knees to floor if you need to. Slide shoulders to hips, tighten the tummy. And make sure you're nice and strong in the front of the body. Lift up through your armpits, engage the sides of your body. Three big breaths. Let's breathe in and breathe out. Bring yourself down to the floor and breathe in, Cobra. Tuck toes under, breathe out and down, Dog. Let your head line up with your arms and let's walk the heels up and down. Just stretch those ankles a little bit. That's it, wonderful. And let's lower the heels towards the floor. Let's pause here to get some stretching in the ankles. This is a lovely position for reducing our blood pressure, so it's an inversion. If it's a little bit strong, just come down to your knees. Step your feet together, and you might like to lift your leg up, just test it out, chest towards thighs, and lunge your foot between your hands. And then step your back foot next to your front foot. Breathe in, forward uh, into chair pose. Then bring your arms out to the sides. We're going to breathe in, lift up, and breathe out, hands to sides and back to chest. Deep breath in and out. 
Let's try that on the other side. Deep breath in, sun salute. And swan dive, forward fold. Flat back. And forward fold. This time step your left foot back, knee down, flatten the top of the foot and you can sweep your arms forward. And again, picking that position for your arms that is not too strenuous. Big breaths in. Now rotate your right hand out to the side, float it down and bring your left arm over your head. Gaze under your arm or otherwise Look down at the floor. And then bring your hand back to the floor, front foot back into plank. Let's breathe in, breathe out, plank to floor. Breathe in, cobra. Tuck toes under, breathe out, and down dog. And just Moving your hips from side to side, just a nice gentle stretch in your down dog position. Then step your feet together, take your left leg, lift it up. You can also lunge your leg forward. Lunge forward now and step your back foot next to your front foot. Forward fold and flat back. Forward fold, come back to chair pose. Lifting your arms up and then bring them out to the sides. Breathe in, lift up, sun salute, and breathe out, hands down to sides and back to chest. Deep breath in and out. And let's pause here just a little bit longer. Okay, we're going to do a little bit of balance now and we're going to do uh, the modified thinker pose. So we're going to have eagle legs. So let's just place the hands on the hips, roll the right foot forward, cross it over the left. You may wish to keep your toes on the floor so you're nice and stable. Otherwise, foot to calf or wrap the toes around the calf. Bring your hands to your lower back, rest them there or link the fingers, press the palms together, pull the tummy in Bending forward, lift the arms up. Lower them down, unwrap your legs and bring yourself to a standing position again. Let's try that on the other side. Roll your left foot forward, tighten your tummy and then cross your legs over, finding that position that you can manage to balance. Pick the same position as you chose last time. Placing the hands on the lower back, pulling the tummy in and lifting arms up. And lower your hands onto your lower back, lifting up, keep the foot forward and lower it down. Bring your arms back to your sides and take a walk with your feet. Now we're going to do a star pose. So bring your foot to a diagonal and then just lift your arms up a little bit lower than your shoulders. Put the weight into the left leg and float the right leg up. If you can, rotate your thumbs upwards. Turn your gaze towards your right thumb if your right leg is lifted. And float your foot down and your hands. Take your left foot to a diagonal. Float your arms up a little lower than shoulders. Lean into the right leg and float the left leg up. Rotate your thumbs upwards and turn your gaze towards your left thumb this time with your left leg lifted. And float your hands and your foot down again. Beautiful. We'll give yourselves a little shake. Now we're going to cross our legs. So taking the right leg, cross it over the left. See if you can line your little toes up. If not, just place your feet 
in a cross position or next to each other if you're feeling unbalanced. So we're going to just bring our hands to our sides, breathe in, lift up tall, breathe out, scoop the belly in and start to slide our hands down our legs, soften the knees a little and you might like to keep your hands just hanging in front, moving the body weight forward or if you can reach the floor comfortably, move the body weight forward in your foot to the front half of the foot. Chin to chest if you can manage, crown of head to floor, otherwise just continue to gaze at the floor. The stretch should be in the back of the leg, of the leg that's behind. Take three big breaths. Now remember to count your breath. You want to keep quite mindful, not let your mind wander, but keep it focused on your body and the stretch. Let's breathe in, hands on shins, breathe out, sliding back up again. That's it, lovely, and take the front leg, take it behind the back leg, see if we can line those little toes up again. And lifting up nice and tall. And we're going to breathe in, breathe out, scoop the belly in, slide the hands down the legs and let the arms hang nice and loosely. Body weight forward in the feet, so you might feel like you're going to topple forward, but you won't. Hands can be on the floor, gaze at the floor or chin to chest, crown of head to floor. Breathe into the back leg by breathing into your hips and your belly. Breathe in and breathe out, slide your hands up your legs. Roll your shoulders back and down. Let's uncross the legs. Now we're going to have a narrow squat down to the floor. So let's breathe in, lifting the arms up and breathe out. Pull the tummy in, bring yourself back down a little bit lower. That's it, looking good. And then we're going to pause here just for a few breaths if you can, otherwise sit down. Now put your hands behind you, take a seat, extend your legs forward. Bring your toes towards you and lift your spine up tall. Breathe in and scoop the belly in, breathe out, bending from the hips and just relax forward. This is a very good position for those with hypertension or high blood pressure. Keep your shoulders down, nice and soft, chin to chest. Just breathe nice and deeply into your back round your belly now let's lift, lift up nice and tall and we're going to twist so take your hands over to the right then take your right hand behind your back Turn your hands into fists, lifting up nice and tall. Pull the tummy in, rotate through your rib cage. Just look in front of your shoulder. Remember to take those deep breaths in and count them to slow your breath down. And make sure that you do breathe. And then release. Now we're going to bring the hands around to the other side. One hand, left hand behind the back, lift up tall and look in front of your shoulder. Bring yourself forward. Now I'm going to turn sideways. Bring my hands behind the knees, breathe in, breathe out, walk the hands down the backs of the legs, take a lie down. And bring your knees to your chest, just one at a time, give them a nice big hug. And press them down to your chest so you can lengthen through your lower spine, because your hips will lift. Then lower it down again. And we're going to place one foot on the floor and take the ankle on the knee, bring the toes towards the knee. Now take the same hand as knee and push it away, so we're stretching into our hip. This is level one. Level two is hands behind the opposite thigh. Make sure your spine is on the floor, your tummy's nice and flat. 
and your chin is nodding towards your chest. Okay, now cross those legs over, hold the ankles and draw them towards you. Change legs so the other ankle is on the knee, toes towards the knee, push the knee away with the hand. You want to make sure those hips are nice and even. And level two, hands behind the opposite thigh. Now, if you can, lift your legs up to the ceiling. Hold the backs of legs if you need to. Otherwise, place your hands on the mat and lift your hips up, hands behind the back, into a shoulder stand. And cross our right leg over the left, bend the knees and bring the knees to the nose. You can also keep your legs extended, wrap the toes around the car and bring them down, lift them up, bring them down and lift them up. Let's change the cross of the legs and bring the knees to the nose and extend. Knees to nose and extend. Then unwrap your legs, bring your knees to your nose, hands to the floor and roll yourself down. Now if you do find it a little bit challenging in shoulder stand, just have your legs lifted in rock pose. Now bring your knees wide, we've got happy baby. Have slide hands up to your ankles or hold the soles of the feet. Relax your shoulders, chin to chest, nice flat lower back and rock from side to side. to your chest and you can bring your feet as wide as the mat, drop the knees inwards or bring the soles of the feet together and drop the knees outwards. Make sure your shoulder blades are downwards and inwards and you place your right hand on your heart centre, left hand on the belly and chin drops a little towards the chest and let's take a few breaths into our belly. Extend your legs along the mat and bring your arms a little bit wider than your hips. Chin towards your chest. And let your feet drop outwards, palms up to make sure the shoulder blades stay flat on the floor. Start to breathe down to your belly. off and pause here to stay in relaxation if you want to. Otherwise, keep the video on and finish off with me. Let's move the fingers and the toes, bring the breath down to the belly. Walk the feet to the end position and roll to the side. 
Take a few breaths here. yourself to a seated position, rest hands on knees or in the lap. Bring your hands down to the floor, lift them above your head in prayer. And breathe out. Bring your hands to your chest and your thumbs to your heart center. Now let's breathe into the belly, into ribs, collarbones and back and breathe out. Breathe into your belly, ribs, collarbones and back and breathe out. Take one more breath in and out at your own pace. And have a peaceful heart and a peaceful mind and a wonderful day. Namaste. Thank you for joining me. If you like the video, press like and make a comment. And remember to subscribe to my channel and get further updates. Come and join me again.